Well, those are the basic parts you need to build your own flashback arrestor, and we highly recommend you use them because of the explosive nature. There's been some great videos that we've seen. One of them is uh, uh, Frankenmower. <laughs> he blew up his generator. Um, this one's ours, and it, we're just using it for a test today to show you how this thing works. But back down to the parts here, we basically bought these fittings ahead of time. So all we needed was to buy this little coupler. You can get this all at Home Depot, but this little coupler here, and what we did was we put one ending on with some tape to seal the gases, and then we went online and we purchased this stainless steel wool. Stainless steel, not, not steel wool. Steel wool will, will rust. So we packed this tube with this end off with a screwdriver and just beat it all down, beat it all down, put some more in, twisted it up. We did a little, you know, kind of make it into this nature so it'll fit into the tube. You can work it yourself, but pack it full. And, and this is about as small as I'd go with one of these. I'd probably go a little larger had I gotten different parts. But again, it's all at Home Depot. So we packed this thing full of stainless steel wool. We wrenched it down, just a couple of tools, a, a screwdriver, an adjustable, and a box in. And there we went. Whammy. And now we're going to test it for you. We're going to wait for the light to go down a little bit so we can see it. But this is just some standard hose. This is our generator that you've seen in other videos. It's the plate design. It's not 54 plates. We, we brought it back down. But we have a, a hose coming out of here. I'm just going to put it right into the end of my flash arrestor. Put the other end. This will be the test end. And hopefully, when we light the gas from this, it won't travel past here. <laughs> Which goes, if it does, <laughs> if you don't put enough stainless steel wool in, it'll go all the way back and blow this off or blow you up. So be very careful with this. That's why a good flash arrestor is so important. Stay tuned for the light show. All right, here's our generator setup. We've got a tube that runs from the top around the outside, down here, kind of like a silly straw, and then out. We're going to light this part. Our generator is on, it is now creating hydrogen. If it gets past this point, we've failed. Any up here? Any watchers out there? Look for the flame up here. We haven't seen it yet. Now, that's not a high output of gas at all. But if you wait too long, this little spark arrestor may not work for you.